Hi, thanks for joining me in my studio today. I'm Valerie. If you have watched my videos before, you know I like to work with fabric samples. I have lots of fabric samples and swatches and remnants that I use to make home decor accessories. Today I'll show you how to make a simple floor mat by using fabric samples or even if you have leftover fabrics and you want to use them to make a mat all you have to do is to cut them out in equal squares or rectangles whatever shape you desire and then you stitch them together by using your sewing machine now what I did was to stitch three pieces together to make one strip and then I stitched the other three pieces together to make another strip and then I put the two strips together and just stitch down the middle to join the whole thing and then after you do that what you can do which is best whenever you're sewing and you have seams it's best to steam your seams down so you get your iron and steam your seams flat now after you have finished steaming your seams down the next step will be to add your backing to your floor mat that you're making and I should mention that the fabric that I'm using here is actually upholstery weight fabric so it's pretty hardy and that's why I chose to use this fabric so make sure that your fabric will stand up to a little wear if you decide to make a floor cloth or a floor mat okay so after we are finished steaming the seams next thing is to add the back end now I'm using non-slip felt for the back end of my floor cloth or my floor mat so what I do next is I actually turn the right side of your panel that you have stitched together with your seam your steam seam you're going to turn the right side of your fabric on to your felt and just make sure you line the panel up properly on the felt and you may put a few pins in just to secure the panel that you have stitched together onto the felt and you are just going to cut it out to the size of the panel that you have stitched together. So when you're pinning your fabric, pin with the point of the pins going out towards you where you will be stitching. To. So let make sure the point goes out so that the top doesn't get in the way when you're trying to stitch your panels together and I just cut along okay put the excess away you can use for another floor cloth and there you have it so now I have my felt on to my panel with the right side of the panel inside and I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and just stitch along the edges and leave a little opening so that I can turn the panel that I've stitched to the lining inside out. Make sure that when you're stitching your seams are opened before you stitch over them. To remove all your pins make sure you have removed all your pins and then you are going to turn the floor cloth inside out. Now it's easy just to push your hand inside to one corner and just to pull it up like this and then stick your hand back inside and grab the other corner and pull the other corner out and just put it there we go it's inside up and just push your hand inside and make sure all the sides are out and the corners I'm just are gonna out. take my scissors 
and just push in the corner just to get it out you have too much fabric in the corners before you actually flip your floor cloth you could actually clip off the corners first just gonna take my iron here and just steam the sides just a little okay so after I'm finished steaming the steaming down the sides of my floor cloth a bit there's still this opening here through which I was able to reverse the fabric what I'm gonna do is just fold the opening the two pieces of fabric inside just like that and just put a few pins in to keep them together and then you could actually use a needle and thread to make, do a slip stitch along the opening to close it however I won't be doing that because I'm actually going to use a decorative trim just to finish off the ends of my floor so cloth. I just make the piece that I'm using just an inch or two inches longer than the floor cloth then just turn the ends under and put it right on the edge and you could just pin this edge here before you take it to the sewing machine turn the other end under pin it on or you could just do one end and take it to the sewing machine and sew it and so I'm gonna put another piece at the other end and you'll see the finished product very and there you have it your completed floor cloth color blocked floor cloth finished off with a decorative trim in mustard which coordinates nicely with the rest of the fabric now you don't have to match it's not about matching it's about coordinating so I hope you try this project with all the little bits of fabrics that you have lying around just cut equal sizes of fabric stitch them together to make a panel use some type of backing which I use a felt non-slip backing just to ensure that when you put your mat down you're not going to be sliding all over the place and just try the project and share your projects with me at v-a-l-r-i-n-e at v-e-r-n-d-e-c-o-r dot com valerine at verndecor.com and please see the credits for a list of sites where you can see more of what I do thanks for tuning in and see you next time